All right, guys, so here's the review of the Bragcliffe Signature. So this is actually available on their website at the moment. We'll get straight down into it, though, and we'll talk about that a little bit more as we get on. So you can see you've got a really nice dial on this. Absolutely beautiful. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the second hour mandala. Similar kind of vibe. And I do really like it. I do really like as well that date window at the bottom. So that's pretty unique. I've not seen one like that before with it stacked on top of each other. So the movement in this is an NH36, hence the day date. But obviously they've got that custom date wheel with it down at the six o'clock. Again, as I say, not something you see all that often. If I was being nitpicky, I'd probably change the font in it slightly. It's not, I think it's a little bit too big. Make it slightly smaller maybe. Because you can see with that 12 at the bottom, it is getting cut off a little bit at the bottom. So slightly smaller would probably be better. But bear in mind, this is a prototype, so they're probably going to tweak things a little bit for the final version. Speaking of which, you can't actually get this white dial one. This is just a prototype. They're actually going to be producing a blue one and a salmon one. I'll probably leave pictures on screen so you can see them. But they have also told me that if enough people are interested, they will produce this white one as well. So if you're interested, make sure you let them know or leave it down in the comments. And I'm sure they'll see this video and then go from there. Anyway, getting back out, let's get onto the measurements of this. Because I know that's going to be what a lot of people are interested in. So we've got a thickness of 13.4. But that is with a slight dome on that crystal. Then we've got a diameter of 40mm. A book width of 20. And then the all important log to log. We have actually got ever so slight protrusion with the male end links. But they do curve down pretty much instantly. So I'll show you the actual log to log. And then show you the end link to end link. So with the log to log we've got 47 and then the actual end link to end link measurement is coming in at 51.3 which sounds quite large but as I say they curve down straight away so it doesn't really wear as large as that I'd suggest which I'll show you in a bit before we do I'll quickly show you the back of this in fact no before we do I'll talk about the bracelet so they say on the site that it is a beads of rice bracelet it does have the look of the beta price one, but I don't know if you can see that there. If I flick it around to the back, it is just the one piece. So it isn't actually a beads of rice bracelet really, it's just the beads of rice look. So obviously they've cut the price there a little bit to get it to the price this is at. Speaking of which, the price for this is actually £289. So I think for the price, you can kind of forgive that. Because you've still got solid end links. You're also getting things like this custom rotor with the Radcliffe branding. And that is actually a rose gold rotor as well. Which is a really nice touch. And if we go around the spec sheet around the outside. You see we've got sapphire crystal, stainless steel. Radcliffe designed in Oxford. And signature. And then we've actually got the number there. So this is number 9 of 100. Because as I say they're only going to be making 200 in total. 100 of each colour and then the fact that it's a Seiko NH36 and 100 meter water resistance so getting back to this clasp before we check out if it is sapphire it's a pretty nice clasp it's a really small one nice and compact with the Radcliffe branding on and then we've got the double pushes we have actually only got two levels of micro adjust which isn't ideal I would have liked to have seen three, so maybe make the clasp slightly larger so you can accommodate at least three. But we have got the double pushes and it's a milled clasp as well. So you may have a slight issue trying to get to size perfectly, but I've not had any problems with my seven interests so far.
quickly show you whether we've got sapphire crystal using the trusty diamond selector too and yep yeah, we have got sapphire and you can see we've also got sapphire on that bezel as well which is a nice touch and then we've also got sapphire on the back as well so all the crystal on this is sapphire which again given that price point I think it's really good. So you've got the sapphire domed sapphire crystal, sapphire bezel, sapphire case back. Again, that custom rover. So I'll show you this movement in action, then we'll check out the loom, and then I'll show you unrest and we'll wrap this up. So it's just a push pull crown. Got plenty of grip on it. It's nicely done. So, in fact, if we pop that twice, move these hands out of the way, so you can actually see the day window. So we'll pop it out once now, then we can change that, and then turn it the other way, and then change the date. Pop it out again, second hand stops, got hacking, the NH36, and move those hands. Pop it back in, second and re-engages. Then you got hand winding. So now I'll show you what the loom's like. So you might be able to see a little bit there already, but charge it up, give it a proper chance. And there we go. So I've got BGW9 on this, and it's actually pretty impressive. I have to admit, yeah, the hands are a little bit brighter than the indices, but they both stay at this kind of level now for a pretty good amount of time. Pleasantly surprised. Not really any patchiness. Pretty consistent across the hands and the indices, as I say, apart from the hands being a little bit brighter. Would have been nice, possibly, if they could have put a little bit of loom on that date window. That would have been pretty cool, but again, for the price, you're not really expecting the extra little touches like that. But pretty good loom, not too bad at all. So all that's left to do now is show you what it's like on wrist and then we'll wrap this up. So this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. And as I say, even though that effective lug to lug is a little bit larger, because they curve down straight away, it still conforms to wrist really nicely I think. And again, even though it's not an actual beads and rice bracelet, it does look quite good still I think. With those polished centre sections, and again, it does wear quite nicely too. The only slight issue being, you may struggle to get a size right with the only two levels of micro adjust. But for me, I've not had an issue. It's pretty much spawn. But it's all about that dial, really. It's just a really good looking dial. A little bit of uniqueness as well with that sapphire bezel. And also that date window down at the six with the day date. Not something you see very often. Can't think I've actually seen anything like that myself before. I'm sure there's others out there. If you know any, let us know down in the comments. But if you're interested in this, I'd definitely recommend picking one up. But you're going to have to be quick, as I say, because there's only 200 in total. And again, if you do like this white one, leave a comment saying that as well. And then perhaps they'll produce some of these. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.